So this is the A to Z of climate change, and we're here to talk about A for aviation. If you're concerned about climate change, aviation is a big problem, and the reason it's a big problem is aeroplanes are amazing. They're these fantastic pieces of engineering where you take this huge lump of metal and you fling it into the sky, and by burning vast amounts of energy, you can make it fly, and it can take you to places you wouldn't normally be able to go to so quickly. They're also pretty much the most environmentally destructive thing you can do as an individual, unless you're actually going out setting fire to rainforests or commissioning TV programmes for Jeremy Clarkson. Myth number one, a lot of people say aviation isn't really that bad, some cars are worse than planes. Well of course, you don't generally drive in a car to New York and back. That's a big part of the problem of aviation, the huge distances that you cover in a very small amount of time, burning enormous amounts of fuel, mean that they are one of the most polluting things that you can do in that space of time. Also of course, jet engines burn fuel at extremely high altitudes, so the greenhouse gases go directly into the atmosphere and create a much greater global warming effect than emissions released from the ground. Myth number two is that aviation is vital for the economy. Of course, in reality, most flights are people going on holiday away from the UK to spend money abroad. And business flights are in fact the smallest part of UK aviation at the moment. And we've just seen, with the downturn in the economy this year, that business flights are actually the first thing that businesses are cutting out to save money. So they're obviously not really that important. In fact, it seems to be the other way around. That aviation is linked to the economy, but it's when the economy is doing badly then we get a cut in aviation. That's what we've seen over the last year. Aviation is actually dropping in response to the economy, not the other way around. Myth number three is the idea that cheap flights allow poorer people to go on holiday more, and so we desperately need them. In reality, it's the wealthiest people in society who are doing most of the flying. The wealthiest quarter of people in the UK take 40% of all flights, while the poorest 25% take only 8% of all flights. To put things in perspective, we are a wealthy minority of people here in this country compared to the population of the planet. Most people in the world have never been on a plane and never will. It's a luxury activity taken by a minority of the world's population that's having a hugely disproportionate effect on the climate and on the rest of the world. And it is those people in poor countries that are already suffering the worst effects of climate change. So what can we do about it? Well, there's one very easy thing you can do right now, which is to stop flying, to cut down the number of flights that you take. There's another really important thing we need to do though, which is to stop making the problem worse by building runways and airports. And that's where we need a lot of campaigning to change the government's plans and to change the plans of big aviation companies.